Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading August 19th to August 25th, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards and we're going to jump right into it. So uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, we do have the Knights of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which stands for the for the challenges here. And that is going to be the Page of Pentacles, followed by the positive aspect of the week. That is going to be the Queen of Wands. And the last one, which refers to the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, Capricorn, that will be uh, the Hermit card. So quite a few people we do have in, um, in this week that you need to tackle with. Uh, I don't think that the page is related to the, to the Knight and to the Queen here. The page just appeared to be some sort of a, uh, a, a peripheral activities that uh, is, how do I say it, is um, obstructing you of giving a uh, it's your absolute maximum into the knights of pentacles because the knights of pentacles it looks like that is going to be a person that you're going to work with all right or that, or that you're going to be with okay and uh, together you're going to execute a certain plan of growth now the queen of wands here appear as a either a contractor or as a someone who just appears around to give a good ideas or you know it's it's someone who appears around just to help you out with it okay but you can definitely push through without that person as well but before we go into all that let's run the cards one more time uh the first one that will be the knight of pentacles here which is the topic followed by the page of pentacles which stands for the challenges afterwards is going to be the queen of wands which represents the positive aspect and then is going to be the her the hermit here which is about the guidance <clears throat> all right guys so knight of pentacles well knight of pentacles represents a person that really knows what that person wants rather slow and methodical this person supports their actions with rather very very strong determination meaning that when they do something they know what they are why they are doing it in the same time in the, in the same time i mean this person through collaborate co collaboration excuse me they are going to give you the time you need okay so that is not going to be someone who constantly rushes you around constantly um i forgot the word here uh but uh, it's constantly giving you a hard time, pushes you and bosses you here and there, you know, they're just going to, um, let's say, establish the tasks in between you two, either career or either relationship wise, you know, they, and they, they will start doing their part while completely um, tr entrusting you with your part as well, which it does, it, it has no uh, reason why you shouldn't perform just as good as the Knight of, of Pentacles is going to perform as well. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Swords, 
so the formation it is here passive enemies that we do have with passive enemy to the page of uh, page of swords to the knights of uh, to the knights of pentacles you can expect a, a huge amount of consistency so whatever that person says it's it is how they see how they envision things you should not expect them to to lie about anything all right and in the same time um how can I place it? They will be very predictable in the sense of that. Um, I don't know how to say it in how to put it in words, but let's say you negotiated something, you know, or you have deliberated upon a certain matter and uh, you have decided how you are going to act. So that is how that person is going to act. No surprises whatsoever. All right. So the next one here, it is about the challenges that you need to overcome. And we do have another one. That will be the Page of Pentacles, completely unrelated, in my opinion, to the Knights of Pentacles. Now, this one, it's very stubborn and it's it's very slow, you know, and very, it, it is methodical, but it is very, very slow. And in the same time, uh, it's very unyielding in regards to what they really, really want, even if it isn't reasonable, okay? So this this page here, uh, it kind of, uh, especially in a negative position, it kind of tends to waste resources, or in this case, to devour your time, all right? So the challenge here is going to be uh, for you to manage your time according to this person, you know, uh, accordingly. And I hate to say it, but that could be, for example, your child, you know, know while you do have a really busy week in regards to work or in regards to personal projects and your child is giving you a rough time constantly demanding your attention while they don't really need your attention all right it's just i don't know how to how do you say it in english but it's kind of like uh, they demand for a unnecessary waste of your time that is just for an, an example here, or it could be a friend of yours who constantly calls you out and they are constantly telling you how bad they feel when you deny them and making you feel guilty for it and etc. etc. Now, the thing with the Page of Pentacles is that you definitely have an emotional connection with this one, okay? It's not just simply a friend, all right? It's just, it's more than a friend, it's more than a co worker, it's, it's, that's why I think that it could be someone who either likes you a lot. All right, or it is a child or a cousin or a brother or a sister or something like this, something that you are going to find it very difficult to say no to. The accompanied card here, it is the Wheel of Fortune Formation, Passive Neutrals. So... <clears throat> As a passive, uh, as a passive neutral to the page of uh, Pentacles, it just solidify on the statement of stubbornness, right? Even though they may see that this is the peak of your thing, all right. Even though that page may see that you know, mommy have to work, all right, or or you gotta go and and, and socialize and these kind of stuff, they they will not going to. Uh, honor it, or rather, like they will not going to oblige to it. Because why? Well, because they see themselves in front of it. They see themselves more, um, more important. Was the word that I was uh, that I was searching for. Should you allow that? Well, that is entirely up to you. But like I said, should you allow it? Well, then you will not be able to give your best into the endeavor that you and the Knights of Pentacles are going to develop throughout the week. And um, unfortunately, it's not going to happen as successful and as lucrative as it could happen, all right? And also, it may import some sense of guilt because the Knight is going to give their maximum best. Now, the next one, it refers to the uh, positive aspect, and that is going to be the, the Queen of Wands. The way I see it, it is more like a consultant, all right? Uh, as someone who um, did that before, whatever you are trying to do with the Knights of Pentacles, and you seek for counsel just to give you the perks of the trade, all right? Uh, that could be, for example... <clears throat> Let's say that the king, that the Knight of Pentacles is your partner into a relationship and you want to uh, improve that relationship. So you kind of like share uh, what you're going through with, with your mom all right, or, or with a friend of yours. And the, as they have been in the same spot before, you know, they give you 
kind of like you know what is the best what is the best course of action here all right so something like this is because the queen of wands very well understands what it takes to 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 end up successful into your situation the queen of wands have that acute sense into the matters all right uh, not because of experience but because of keen mind because of uh, uh because of how, how do i say it and a, a, a agile thought all right and can see means in those things that you would see as a uh, irrelevant things the accompanied card here is going to be the six of wands and the formation it is a uh, <clears throat> active uh, supporters and that looks like as a, as a uh, as a, a recipe to success okay you follow the guidance or you follow the counsel of the queen of wands here wow it looks like that you are going to reach your peak of experience it looks like that you are going to be recognized for it and receive the rewards for it and the best thing is that this help of the queen is going to cost you far little than what you are going to um, gain from the whole thing you know that could be for example that you are uh, undergoing an important project into your career you're facing a certain predicament in it and you seek the counsel of someone that works in a different similar company all right in in another company which is similar to yours that is doing the same stuff they give you the advice and you do it and you see it's working all right it's working so you get the rewards for it you don't need to disclose that someone else gave you the recipe for success here and the last one is going to be the hermit which stands for the guidance so guidance wise the hermit incorporates in intelligence and wisdom into one's uh, into one's actions and into one's uh, decisions as well not to mention that hermit here urges you to focus on what is substantial if this is your child for example the page of pentacles your child ain't going anywhere all right and what is substantial for you right now to provide for example right so you need to focus into your career i mean if your child so much demands for attention give uh, hire a nanny or give it to his father or i don't know all right but the right now you know you need to focus upon the most substantial things into your life that is going to grant you growth and improvement at the current stage is everybody going to approve your moves unlikely you know there are going to be many who are going to criticize you with this card but that should not be uh that should not be something to that should not be something that can or rather like should uh, abate your spirit i would say even though there was one philosopher who said should you face difficulties and a lot of difficulties well that means that you are on the right track all right so that is kind of like the thing that is going on for you here capricorns throughout this week the accompanied card it is the queen of swords here and um uh, the formation it is a passive enemies that we do have so it, you cannot uh, really judge the evening by the morning what i'm trying to say it is that you cannot relate uh, this this situation that you are going through with a, a past situation that you went through back in the days all right because the situation appears to be unique with these two cards and it will require as well a unique maneuvers unique actions all right so that being said, <clears throat> you should rather approach it into a, a clever and a wise manner than bruisey and warmongery manner, okay? So that being said, um, Capricorns, this was your weekly tower reading for a August 19th to August 25th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye!